Thank you, my lord. Uh, firstly, there's a concern, uh, my lord, of the of the aircon that uh, it is uh, cold now. Some of the turn them to switch off. Yes. Where's the cord order? Over there. Over there. Proceed in the meantime. Okay, fine. Yes, thank you. Lieutenant Colonel, the exhibit, that is exhibit two, is it before court now? The firearm? Yes. Not correct. Is that the exhibit, is that exhibit two that uh, warrant officer Nurov uh, did test? That's correct. You saw this conversation speed, the sister warrant officer gave. Is that the exhibit that you Receive on Monday, the 20th of July, 2020. So, so uh, blue, go, July 20. That's correct. That is Munja. At Cleveland Police Station. Uh, Warrant officer, can you give the description of that firearm? So like describe uh, it. Description of it. Yes. Is that, as I wrote it here. It's a 9 millimeter Parabella CZ Model 75. See, German is cast in a laguti 9 meter Parabella CZ 45. The words, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, the 9 millimeter Parabella Caliper CZ Model 75. Where did you get those words? Where did I get the words? Yes. Where? You know, you, you said you receive a 9mm parapet, I'm CZ75. So where did you get those words? Okay. That it was a CZ75. CZ75. Yes. Is the name of the firearm and the model of it? Ah, it's a Malispa. Is it correct, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, that you told this court that the serial number of the firearm was obliterated? Meaning it was filed off. We can say no to Atola a number of Pamo, a SC, which would buy five. That's correct, man. You won't try. On the slide of the, the, the exhibit, that is exhibit two of the record, is the description of that exhibit engraved. Do you understand the question? On the slide. On the slide of the firearm, on the barrel, is the description of the firearm, the 9mm Parabella model CZ75, engraved on the barrel of the firearm. We should tell you in the camera is spam, we have to put in where this is spam. You see, is this model, name and model? Or the serial number? The name and model. Is it written on the slide? Yes. Normally it's written on the slide. The CZ yes. model 75 is. Okay, can you read for the record the, 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 the name and the model of the farm that appears on this slide?
Zeig mal das. Nur so das. Ai, si kuselegi le ngoba asina asinta. It's written on the slide C Z twenty five. If Panio and a picture then we spam go to C Z twenty five. It's written here. No? C Z twenty five. That's correct. Are those the only words that are appearing there? You wanna pair a mark my vela lap? As I read everything that's written on the slide. Yes, please. Because food that I want to clap is for me. Say C Z seven five Cal Lua. It paluti C Z seven five Cal Lua. That's all that's written on the slide. You want to pair up the parallel up the slide? Can I also have a look? Can I also have a look? at the exhibit. I also see, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, that there are words and grave that uh, it is made in Czech Republic. It's made in Czech Republic and it's the C that stands for Seska of Zebriovka. I say this Pamu stands for Czech Republic. And uh, the power, we go to the sea that uh, we may Seska Seska Zebrioka Zebrioka and made in Czech Republic is written on the frame, not on the slide. Oh. I think uh, made in Czech Republic, we should say Czech Republic. We frame a whole core slide. On exhibit one of the record, which is a copy of the ACP-13 register, which was completed by Warrant Officer Masondo. On the 10th of February, 2015, 
he documented the following at 3.1. One times 9mm black pistol Czech Republic CZ75 Cal Luger. That is on the copy of the SAP 13 register. Now, SAP 13, you what is church republic cz Carl Luca. Serial number filed off. Which you are sure, which is where is serial number. So the question is the firearm that you received, Lieutenant Colonel, on the 20th of July 2020, is it the same firearm that Warrant Officer Masondo entered in the SAP 10, 13 register as the exhibit one of the record? And this is from Australia. It's the same pistol, my lord. Yes, boy, it's so on the system. Lieutenant Kennedy, I want us to go now to or before that, it is a 9mm, does it eject cartridges? That's correct, my lord. It's a pistol. For every shot you fire, you eject the fire cartridges and load another one into the chamber. That's yeah, why it's but called a semi automatic. Yeah, but you don't know this farm, all right, Peter, I'm not going to be in town for whom I do. Who that was, it was a farm in town. To which side does it eject empty cartridges? In the mention, I'm not going to do it. Peter, I will be put on wood. It ejects to the right hand side. We should take it, you will keep it out of the right hand side. Wrong, we were so good. It is your evidence. Lieutenant Colonel, that at the scene you could not find any empty cartridges. Is that correct? That's correct, my lord. Cartridges were not found at the scene. Yeah, but I was going to tell my cartridges. One of the scenarios, or two of the scenarios that you gave Lieutenant Colonel, is that. <coughs> It could be that when the shot was fired, as there was a struggle over the, the firearm, so it could not eject cartridges. So the empty cartridge would be launched in the chamber of the firearm. Is that correct? Well, tell me now. I'm going to ask you to do that, but it's going to be a long cartridge. So I'm going to go back to the corner and I'm going to go back to the corner. I'm going to go back to the corner. That's correct, my lord. When a shot is fired, as I have explained, every single shot fired, the slide moves back to eject the fire cartridges. So for every shot, there will be this movement. So in the instance where a shot is fired, someone is holding the firearm, it disturbs the cycling of this. So the fire cartridges will not be ejected, will stuck inside the chain of the fire. We have to do that in this farm. We can lend out this farm, we slide the lesson of the puzzle. Yeah, 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 the second scenario that you gave is that the empty cartridges will be checked in the clothing of the persons who are nearby the scene when the fire shots are fired. Yes, 
Yes, Katiga is Pamusi to go. That's also a possibility, man. Oh, we are going to get a dog. You also testified, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, that from the physical evidence at the crime scene, the first shot was the one that was fired 90 degrees to the floor. Uh, we tell you, uh, That's correct, man. Is it correct that when, when uh, the, based on what you have been saying, that when that shot is fired, the 9 millimeter pistol, that is the exhibit, it will eject cartridges and the possibility of cartridges falling onto the fork and cannot be ruled out. Do you confirm that? That's correct, man. So the possibility of the scene being contaminated, can you rule it, rule it out in the sense that somebody may interfere with the scene and take that empty cartridge which is on the floor in the kitchen? I cannot rule out that possibility, man. What is a high velocity firearm, uh, Lieutenant Kennedy? It's been, it's a permissionless vanilla school, yes, it does. High velocity? Yes. Once you regard the rifles as high velocity, you're looking at the speed of your bullets. You're talking about what you're using, but it's in cold, it's in this way, it's in this way, it's in this way, it's in this way. It's all like permissionless vanilla school, and go over, 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 and go over. But with a pistol like this, the bullet, Velocity will be between 350 and 380 meters per second. And comparing to the rifles, the rifles will be around 700 to 900 meters or more than 900 meters per second. So, Yes, again, you could leave them into a marathon. The number is in this business, 700 to your figure, and the other than 100 meters per second. I refer you to the training that you received from the Forensic Science Laboratory. Part of the training that you receive is the wounding effect that the bullet has on the tissue, the effect that the bullet has on the target, and the effect that the target has on the bullet. Uh, we are going to find so we want to go to when they are going to go in time for the if you are in general in general corner no more when they are going to get in time for you know my if you are in general in the way it is that's correct man that's part of terminal ballistics yeah we go we are going to see this is funda Part of my cross-examination, Lieutenant Kennedy, I would ask you to be of assistance. Uh, the, the first question that I want to converse from you is, how does the bullet hitting the door affect the door's integrity? When the bullet hit the door, how does it affect the integrity of the door? My How does it affect the integrity of the door? Yes. I don't understand the question. With regards to the damage, will be the, there be damage, the damage on the door? On the door. Yes. Are we referring to a direct shot to the door? Okay. I just need clarity there so that I can explain. When, the when bullet, you say the bullet hitting the door, I will say when shooting direct to the door. Yes. If the door is closed, you are hitting a door at an angle of around 90 degrees, there's a possibility that your bullet will exit at the side. It's most Oma, likely your, your bullet will exit. Oma, utike, u, konene, ngone, 
Emnyangu ngeze kake uqala ukuthi inhlamvu ingadlula kulo mnyangu zulele ngale ngaphesha kumnyangu. In instances where you are shooting at the door at an angle there's a possibility that your door that your bullet will deflect it won't exit on the other side it will deflect to a Man, different angle. Uma ukuthi ke umuntu ubula le amnyangu anobhekene ngqono umnyangu futhi ke use uyengene eh umuntu ubula le ngenzeka ukuthi so in this case you told this court that the shot was fired and the at an angle. Is that the physical evidence that you have that the shot was fired at an angle? Well, the bullet perforated the deceased body and then it hit the door at an angle. It was not at the 90 degrees, but it was at an angle. That's why it deflected towards the back of the door. From where the deceased uh, was standing, you said the door was slightly open. So how far was the deceased standing from the door? Behind the door? Were you able to, to measure that? As I said, it is the deceased on the chest. He exited at the back. Yes. Lower in a downward trajectory. Now, if the deceased back was against the door, then I would expect the exit would end the damage on the door be more or less on the same measurement. But if you look at the measurement, there's a difference of about six centimeters. Uh, but Now that's six centimeters. What will happen is it creates a space between the door and the deceased. So there will be a distance of more or less a meter or so, where your bullet has to travel down at six centimeters before it is the door. You said the velocity of that, the speed at which the bullet travels what, once it exits the barrel of the firearm, what is the speed? Of uh, that firearm. So the, kind of the speed. What is the speed of that firearm? Uh, of the bullet once it, it exits the barrel of the firearm. How, how what is the speed uh, that it travels? Well, the muzzle velocity of nine mm of a nine millimeter is between three hundred and fifty and three hundred and eighty meters per second. So there is in Sakwa and Sakwa, we try to do it to your meter in the Gomsu Swana or the damage that you found at the door on the twenty seventh of October twenty fourteen. You also said that you took photos. Amongst the photos that were shown to you is photo 12 of exhibit X13A. How would you describe that damage at the door? Yeah. Well, the damage is of an unstable bullet at an angle. Now, 
When a shot is fired, the bullet leaves the barrel. It's in a spinning motion. When it comes out, it's in a spinning motion. But once it hits a target, it hits an object, it stops spinning, it starts tumbling. So when you say the bullet was unstable, it means it could have been moving this way or it could have been moving this way. So when it hits the door, it was probably in its sight or anywhere, but it was not directly the nose. So the man said, Oma in Tanku, a Puma, a Spamin, a Yansa, a little twang, a single year spina. What again? Uma is a shy, a shy corner. I saw spinning a sea to Kukuku, the Tanku, the Wushkutiga, a singer, a beggar life, and I call the Pindi beggar, a year corner, a bachelor and child. On your observation on the 27th of October 2014, did you observe a hole at the door? On well, October 2014, why were you in Yes, my lord, I took, uh, we took pictures of that damage on the door. Can we go to photo 12 of Exhibit X thirteen A. I'll also request that the, the photo that is photo twelve of exhibit thirteen X thirteen A be beamed. From that uh, photo, that is photo 12 of exhibit X13A, where did you see the whole Lieutenant Cannon? Lembo, why do you think that this is the one that is the one that is the one that is the one that is the bullet hole? Yes, the bullet hole. There is your bullet hole. No, it's in the one that is the one that is the one that is the one. What is it that is uh, shown on, as I'm standing here, is on the left, on the left. This one? No, as I'm standing here, it's on the left. On the left? Yes. yes. Oh, this? Yes, yes. No, not that one. You, you refer to, 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 to... Are we referring to this? Not the whole thing. Just on, just opposite the, the, the... 
damage which you refer to as the hole that you... The hole is here. And I'm referring to this hole. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My Lord, what transpired there is the bullet hit the door and anger. So it did not go through because it's an anger. It deflects. It gets, it's like it's bouncing on the wall and deviating. So there, that's why it exited, pushing part of the wood, the splinters, this ones, pushing them from inside, outside. That's why now they are coming out to So it got between the, these splinters there, and it deflected from there, and pushed them from inside, outside. On the 26th of October 2014, Constable Musia visited the crime scene and he gave the description of points in his photo album, which was handed in as Exhibit C of the record. He described point A2 as a bullet hole. Point? Point A2 as a bullet hole. My colleague are going to assist you tonight. Is it the same as? Yes. Uh, point A2, which is on Exhibit C of the record, which is the description of points. You don't have Exhibit C. No, I don't have Exhibit C. Which photo? It is photo... Photo 8. Yes, I have photo 8. Yes. In the description of photos, it, de it describes that uh, damage at point A2 as a bullet hole. So it is the same photo depicting photo 12 of your photo album. That's correct, man. That's the same. On the 27th of October 2014, you told the court that you were called by Captain Bentley to attend the crime scene. Do you confirm that? Uh, with the 
Captain Bentley who is a Lapago crime scene. That's correct, man. Yeah, Wong John. On exhibit triple L1, which is an affidavit of Captain Bentley, he says the following. in his affidavit. A decision was taken during the briefing that to investigate the scene as if no investigation was done. During the first walk through of the scene, Captain Masomboga indicated the place on the kitchen floor where a bullet point was discovered and collected by Constable Musia. He further indicated to me a bullet hole on the inside of the kitchen door. <coughs> when we were there at the scene, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, were you shown by Captain Bankley this bullet hole which was on the door? That's correct, my lord. On the 17th of August, 2023, when Constable Mosia was cross-examined by my colleague, Ms. Mr. Ramsebede, he says the following at page 29 of the record of the 17th of August, 2023. <coughs> Mr. Musia says the following, and I quote. No, I'm sure, I'm sure. At page 29. And I quote. I check on the floor where I noticed the bullet hole. So I'm happy that I pass it. But when I come, I'm happy to put you on a in bubble. I share your concern. I also check the door as well, and I realize that the bullet did not exit the door and I thought to myself perhaps perhaps it had fallen between the layers of the door but I did not find that bullet. Well, sir, can you please read it bit by bit so I can get everything. Okay, thank you. I also checked the door as well as and I realized that the bullet did not exit the door and I thought and I thought to myself, perhaps it had fallen between the layers. <laughs> of the door, but I did not find that bullet. <laughs> if Ada says the following, <laughs> at page 30 of the record of the 17th of August, 2023. At line 20. The question was posed to Constable Mosia, and I quote, now on that point that you raised that, you look at the hole, And you correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> At 
Line 20. Line? Line 20. Just towards the end of the page. And when I get a gentleman would Yes, just to complete that for the record so that it can be uh, recorded. You assume perhaps that the bullet went through and fell through the, it's indistinct, of the panels of the door, correct? Then the answer by Mr. Musia, that is correct. So, close quotation. So, so the question that I'm, I'm posing to you, uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, is that when you observe that damage, which you refer to as a hole, was there any indication that the bullet went through and it could have fallen between the panels of the door? From your observation. No, my lord, it deflected on the door and then continued to travel. No, You also told the Scott, Lieutenant Colonel, that you, you don't know this witness or this uh, police officer. Motuedi. 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 Sorry. Is, what, is that what you told this court? No, I don't know you. <coughs> His affidavit was read into the record and it was handed in and admitted as Exhibit Triple L2 of the record. Affidavit, I can have found all the time to come to them again. I'm not going to repeat what he says, but. The crux of my question is that he says that on the 27th of October 2014, it's about nine, he arrived at the scene where a ballistic expert, Captain Mangana, and a photographer, warrant officer Mshatho, who took scene photos. Captain Mangana took exhibit of spent cartridge that was found on the door frame. Close quotation. Utigalapo <laughs> You said you don't know this uh, uh, warrant. He is a warrant officer, or he was a warrant officer in the Afghan Police Service. What is your name? No warrant officer. I don't know this person. By nine o'clock, I was not at the scene. I only received a call around ten, and I arrived at the scene after eleven. I am Mas Domundu. I was in the call around ten, 
Eh, nine o'clock, nineteen guests on the clock on a lap in the way. Now, I mean, I was in a few saying, be zone or ten, a few in catches or level. And as I've mentioned earlier, that when we process the crime scene, we don't allow people or any police officers into the scene. It's only, it will be only myself and my team and can have Captain Bentley or Warren of Zam Tatu and their team. No other members will be allowed in the on the 28th of October 2014, how did you learn about the post-mortem examination which was going to be conducted on the body of the deceased? October, how did I learn about it? Yes. Post-mortem. About the post-mortem, yes. That it will be on the next 28th, day. 28th, yes. No, we were informed that the crime scene that the post-mortem will be conducted the next day. So I tell you, when I in the next day, I would say post-mortem is always on the end of Because normally if we attend the crime scene, and there's somebody who died on the scene or deceased on the scene, and the post-mortem must be conducted, we will tell them to inform us so that we can attend the post-mortem. Who were the members who attended the post-mortem on the 28th of October 2014? I attended with my two old colleagues and then uh, attended with the crime scene management members. I can't recall who was there. Also. Uh, who are the some Mshato? Nami Nama Nalamo Engis and Nava be the Sire Corner Lapa and Zakumu. Did you meet the doctor on the 28th of October 2014? That's correct, my lord. When the doctor came, I was there with him, and then when he conducted the post mortem. I was also standing there with him. Did you introduce yourselves to the doctor? Yes, we did, my lord. Yeah, we said the two. Was that at the examination room or outside before you entered the room where the postmortem was conducted? I cannot recall whether we were outside or we were inside before the post I'm neighboring on this, uh, Lieutenant Kennedy, because of the information that appears on the post report. At page six of the postmortem report by Dr. Stenkamp. You shall know Nengalo Padrela postmortem Padu Dr. Stenkamp. He says the following under additional observation at page six of the postmortem report. One. The autopsy was attended by the investigating officer, warrant officer A.S. Motwedi, from the Provincial Investigation Unit. Warrant officer A.S. Motwedi. Warrant officer T.T. Mthalo from the Provincial Task Team. Captain Mangana from the ballistics. Why are you Captain Mangana was a ballistics? Lieutenant Mahati from the ballistics. No, Lieutenant Mahati was a ballistic. And warrant officer Ndini from the ballistics. No, I mean warrant officer was a ballistic. So the two colleagues that you referred to that were with you when the postmortem was conducted on the 28th of October 2014. It was Lieutenant Mohati and Warand Officer Andin. Those were your colleagues. There was also Warand Officer Mthatlu 
from that's the provincial task team. That's correct. And Can yourself. Please. That's correct. Can you please repeat that question? There was also warrant officer Mshasho and yourself. Oh, warrant officer Mshasho and I work on now. What do you have? The name of uh, warrant officer Motwedi is coming back again. No, I think I'm going to warrant officer Motwedi to fail a food. Do you still say you don't know him? So, Pierre and Mwuchi, how much? I can't recall him. I don't know him. Maybe I know him when I see him, but I don't know the same name. So, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. I'm On the 28th of October 2014, when the postmortem was conducted, were there any exhibits that were handed over to you after the postmortem for further examination? Malo, the deceased sustained one gunshot wound, the perforating gunshot wound, where it enters the front exit and the back. So there was no any other exhibit found on the body. I see because he's Were there any specimens that were taken on the disease? I'm not sure, my lord. Possibly so. Maybe blood samples or something, but I do not con collect those things and I don't work with those things, so I had no interest in those ones. Right. So again, yes, I don't Yes, for the record, I'll refer to this uh, paragraph by the doctor with regards to specimen, specimen which was retained. The doctor says type of specimen Light and swab from the fingernails. Examination DNA. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pansy, the pansy, the pansy, the pansy, the pansy, the pansy, the seal numbers or the seal number was 13D2A C4519 and evidence back serial number. PA 400-18-111-21. It was handed to SFOE Mokwena. We don't know about this. No, I don't know. The sample there for the evidence began to go to Mokwena. It was a mass here, not a tongue mass. Your evidence in Chief Lieutenant Colonel on the 30th of August 2023, you told this court that you visited the accused persons, that is Mr. Sibiya, Danzi, Nube, Mapisa, and Dude at various detention centers. Do you confirm that? Uh, when I'm started the August 2023, I was I was to be on That's correct, man. It was on different dates. Yeah, but what I was going to go to You testified that these uh, persons were persons of interest in, in this case. That's correct, my lord. I was informed by Brigadier that these are the persons of interest. By the persons of interest, what does that mean? 
By person of interest, that be the people that he's looking at as possible people who are, can be the suspects in the case. Amongst the visit that you did was on the 30th of June, 2020, where you visited Mr. Mnube. Do you confirm that? That's correct. Yeah, You also told this court that at the time of the visit, you were taking notes. No, my lord, I was not taking notes, I was taking measurements. So there were no notes that you made after taking measurements? So I was not taking notes, I was taking No. So you did not write anywhere, maybe in your diary, about your visit? I took measurements, I only wrote the measurements of the, the, the height, shoulder height, elbow height, and the length. Where were you documenting your findings? Which findings? The measurements. I only took the measurements and I wrote them on my... I had a notebook that I was writing. You did not make a statement. An affidavit. No, man. On the 30th of August 2023, Lieutenant Kennel, that is your evidence, at page 54 of the record. It says the following, and I quote, at page 54 of the Proceedings of the 30th of August, 2023. Page 54, 54. Yep. He says the following, the scars I see on the legs will be from his childhood. And from there, my Lord, I did not tell him what I was looking for. But from what he told me, I realized that this might be the person. It's indistinct, indistinct because how did he know that I was looking for scars on him? Uh. Please help us with uh, the lines that you are reading. From line one to five. We are on page. We are on page fifty-four, but we. It doesn't seem to be having any of what you're reading. 
page 54 of the proceedings of the 38th of August 2023, it is the evidence of Lieutenant Colonel Mangana. At the top, the first paragraph at the top, it's line one. Can I please approach so you can help me, my love? First paragraph says the with the sentence then the elbow. Is that what you're referring to? Yes. Can you please start reading again? I'll start reading from where it says, the scars I see on the legs will be from his childhood. And from there, my Lord, I did not tell him that what I was looking for. But from what he told me, I realized that this might be the person. It's indistinct because of how did he know that I was looking for scars on him. different one. They are not the same. What I'm reading is one and the same thing. As yeah, but the ones that we have in that, that uh, I think you must rely on the one that is there because it is one and the same thing. So it is what he told you that the scars I see on his leg would be from his childhood. It is what he told you. That's what he told me that if you see the scars on my leg, it will be from my childhood. I didn't see the scars. Did you also document this on your notebook? What he told you? No, I didn't recommend that. No, I'm sorry. How do you recall this? That he told you this? That's what he said when I was there. So I heard him saying that. I mean, from the date of the visit on the 6th of June 2020 up to the date when we testified on the 30th of August 2023, some three years later. You still record what he told you. That's correct. From the date of the incident on the 26th of October 2014, you still expected to see the injuries on the legs. So on the 26th of October 
Nogan would send us born a basi in Nogli Mala and Ali Malagona in the Bedrock. I was not looking for the injuries, I was looking for scars. Nan Funi Bas, Nan Funi Ugly Tabamutins of Bona Ugly Man. You still expected to see them, to see the scars. Some. When you saw what was also Peru, she says later. The scars will remain there, yes. Yeah, we pass the social is equal. Yeah. In respect of my client, you said you visited him at Louis Cop Correctional Services. That's, that's correct, man. Yeah, one John. I'm instructed by my pisa, Mr. Mapisa, that it is correct that you did visit him on the 6th of July 2020 at Louis Cobb Prison. To my pisa, I'm very sure that a journey last to Louis Cobb. You said you did the same process, or you embark on the same process as you did with the the rest. The same process that I did with accused number three months. Yeah, we get that we are going to go and solve this charge. He agrees that you did take his height, his shoulder, and his elbow, and you ask him to take his shoes and socks. That was on the 6th of July, 2020, and you did not find anything. We have a lot of people who are in the middle of the night, and they are in the middle of the night. We have a lot of people who are in the community of the Tudor and the Masogis. That's correct, man. What do you have to do? He instructs me that, and as I must put it to you, that he was not at the crime scene on the 26th of October, 2014. That is the crime scene at house number 13511, Kutuan Long Street. At the uh, times that it is said the incident occurred. What uh, year now? 26th of October, 2014. Why I cannot comment on that. One. I have at all. He further instructs me that he is not a person of interest, or he was not a person of interest, and he has never been a person of interest in this case. But I was not the investigating officer and he was not a person of interest to me. Probably to the investigating officer, but not to me. He further instructs me that the fact that you did not find any injuries or scars on his leg support his sentiment. What is your comment? I can <coughs> comment on that one. He has placed this on record not more than once. He instructs me that he knows accused number one, Mr. Spear. As what? He knows Mr. Spear before court. Thank you. No comment, my lord. Why not may I take one instruction from uh, 
Yes, my sir. client, Mr. Matthias. Thank you, my lord, for the courts and dungeons. <clears throat> my lord, just one minute. May I approach my colleague, Mr. Sorry, Advocate Mishodan? Thank you. He further instructs me that. He did not know Mr. Ndanzi before court. He first met Mr. Ndanzi when they made their first appearance at Boxbeck Magistrates Court. On the 27th of October 2020. On time, on 2020. No comment. I am going to He instructs me that before the 26th of October 2014, he knew <coughs> Mr. Mube before court. What he you was his man? friend. He was his friend. I can't comment on that, my lord. Lastly, he instructs me that before the 26th of October 2014, he knew Mr. Ndoli. Mr. Ndoli was his acquaintance. What he was a mass in Ndoli, and upon the 26th of October 2014, what was the mass? I can't comment on that. Again, we are not proud of that. My Lord, I request that we, we take uh, an adjournment uh, until tomorrow overnight. What's the time? Sorry. Thank you. Yes, uh, 3 19. 19 minutes past, uh, past 3. 3. Okay. Is that okay? Other councils? In the summer. It is indeed. Are you available? I'm available, my lord. Okay, then we are generally 10 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm rising for two more in the morning.